I do not now do, nor have I ever lived in the city of Valdosta. I so don't live in Hayhauer either, despite the shirt that I'm wearing. I live in unincorporated Miles County on land my grandfather bought in 1921, at about the same time he ceased being the superintendent of the Valdosta Waterworks. Uh, I'm John Quarterman. I do get my mail in the city at 3338 Country Club Road, Suite L, uh, number L336. And I'm here to praise some members of your mayor council, especially the mayor, Mayor James, and Council Gibbs, for coming out to help clean up at Sugar Creek and the Withacoochee River. So you all have seen an up close and personal trash problem coming out of the city of Valdosta. And the mayor has seen it before, I think Council Gibbs has, so you're aware from direct observation that you can clean it up, but it comes back because it's coming down the creeks out of the city. So fortunately, there's easy things to do about this, which you know, I would like to thank the auditors for uh, establishing that y'all have got plenty of money to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, what I'm going to recommend is going to cost less than one sewer line, probably less than fixing one manhole. It's very small compared to the sewer situation, which I would also like to congratulate y'all and get a good, good grip on that. Okay, so trash traps. There's at least three companies selling trash booms with nets below that would be good to put at Sugar Creek, uh, Two Mile Branch, and Three Mile Branch, where the mayor lives. And that'd be great. That will stop the trash before it gets in the river. But that alone doesn't stop the problem. It's still coming from upstream. Fortunately, the city has excellent ordinances that say you shouldn't let trash get off the parking lots. You shouldn't have so many trash cans for parking spaces. So you don't need an education and enforcement plan for that, which would really help. I mean, one would hope most of the businesses would decide to do it voluntarily, but if they don't, you can find them. So that's a big part of what's needed, and of course, it'd be good if the uh, city police would enforce the anti-littering laws. So you, know, you, you can say it in a few sentences, and it doesn't cost that much. The trash traps alone, uh, each of them is going to be less than $4,000 most likely. And so you know, have to be custom built, so you have to investigate each one. So, uh, and also, your city click and fix smartphone app. That's a great thing. It'd be even greater if all the click and fixes were actually responded to. And there's some improvement in that already. So, I'm looking forward to y'all doing something about this. I spoke to in February, and I've been talking to the city about this since at least last June. And I look forward to some action. Thank you. Thank you, John. Are there any other citizens wishing to be heard at this time? Just that. Can you hold the council comments? It's not loaded, it too. I'll just correspond to John, let him have a little time. But I'll, I'll, I'll be able to have comments. But if I leave off, I'll steal your money. <laughs> go on, so go ahead. Thank you, buddy. Okay. Are there any other citizens wishing to be heard at this time? Tell Andy and I had fun in the river. That's uh, okay. I believe we'll move on to the city manager's report. 